Hello, hello, Geneva for coming in here. I'm just coming in here uh, with a video to tell you of a dream that I had recently. It was very brief, but it was interesting. Um, so on April 7th, I had dreamt of a tornado, Obama, and someone talking inside my head. Um, I think there was a little more, but I couldn't remember it. The most important part, though, was uh, when I woke up, I just knew that that person that I had just dreamt about was going to be coming back soon. Um, so, and it just reminded me, too, of, I did do a video in the past here on my channel of that person, um, and in that dream... I think I had just, I had been in the Southwest, um, and in the dream there was me and some people and that person and a Bible, and in that dream, um, the people, you know, saw that I had a Bible and they were like, oh, oh no, you know, like, you know, it was just a huge no-no now, um, and, and it's just, they were, they were just scared that I even had a Bible and, um, and then Obama asked me, or how did it go? He asked me what I was going to do with the Bible and that I should say his name. And I said, nope. <laughs> I said, nope. I'm going to speak the words from this Bible. I'm going to read it. I'm going to speak it. And that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to read the Bible. I'm going to put the Bible on like I would Jesus. So that was the other dream. But I do really feel like that person could be coming back on the scene pretty soon. I think that could be part of part of, you know, what's some of the stuff going on right now could be eventually leading to is what I feel like. Um, and speaking of that also, um, if that is going to be happening pretty soon, um, that reminds me of the other part of the short dream that I just had where someone was talking inside my head and you know, I was made to know that that's some kind of technology that does that. And I know there is technology that does that. And I couldn't remember what the specific name of it was or anything. And I know that I got a lot of smart viewers out there. So if you know, you know, the name of that technology, um, maybe you could leave a comment with a, like a, a link to a, a video or a link to an article of that. I'd really appreciate it. All right. Um, and I'll leave. I'll put in the description box too some of um, some of the Bible verses regarding the Antichrist. Um, so I'll leave that. And what else was I going to speak of? Uh, I don't think I have that verse here. But um, I've always wondered, you know, there's, you know, how it, it says, you know, certain things in like a certain book of the Bible, and then it has it in other ones. So like with Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, it does that a lot. And you know that Bible verse <clears throat> that talks about, you know, there will be, um, well, you know, nation will rise against nation, kingdom against na uh, kingdom, and distress of nations, or however it goes. And there will be, you know, um, earthquakes and famines and pestilences. <laughs> um, and, you know, it lists all these things. But I've always thought it was curious that it says, but before, before all these things, they will persecute you is basically what it says. They'll be persecuting us believers. Um, I, I feel like that, that I feel like the Lord has shown me that that is on the way that that could also be part of what's going on right now. So I wanted to mention that. Uh, and what else did I want to say here? Just look at my little cheat sheet that I made up. Um, and it's, you know, it's hard 
to know what can be said on this platform anymore, but the Lord did give me two words that I want, just two words. <laughs> um, regarding the illness that's going on right now, and it was false positives. So I'm going to leave it at that. Um, and that's, that's helped explain to me a lot of the craziness and the numbers and all, all of that that I don't even think I'm going to go into. Um, so that's what, that's what he gave me on that. I wanted to mention that. Um, and also just faith. It's all about, you know, faith is the very basis of our relationship with the Lord. We have to have faith, of course, to believe in him, to believe there is a God, to believe, you know, that Jesus is the son of God, um, that Jesus, you know, who is the word became flesh, you know, um, all of that, uh, I'm at the beginning of this thing that's going on right now. And I'm sure a lot of people are still there. I was very fearful. It's very scary. You know, I'm saying all these people, all these people are dying and everything. Um, but the Lord set me straight. Uh, we just, we have to lean on him. I'm trying to think, what is that? Proverbs three, maybe. Um, to lean not on our own understanding, but in all ways acknowledge him, you know, um, we can't lean on our own thinking on this. It's too crazy. <laughs> it's really crazy. Um, so we really just need to lean more on him and on his understanding of things and, you know, ask him to show you things he will you know like i said he only gave me those two words and that that's helped me a lot in trying to figure out what's all going on out there with this thing um but faith i mean faith is a substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen i i love i love hebrews 11 the faith chapter um i would recommend you read that there's so many amazing stories of faith, but like I was saying, faith is the basis of us even believing in the Lord. It, it we just need to keep on, keep on, keep it on, keep, keep, and even go further into our relationship with the Lord at this time. We have plenty of time with what's going on right now. So, um, if you just get distracted easily or you find yourself, oh, I'm going to go binge on the show or and it's really becoming a problem. You just don't seem to have the time for the Lord. Pray about it. Say, Lord, please help me to, and to give up some things and spend more time with you. Because like I said, this is, this is the calm before the storm. Um, we need to be in the word and we need to, to have it be our, our heart's desire and just make up our mind to to get more time with the Lord um, and ideally to be able to learn how to hear his voice more now a lot of people have asked me how do you hear from the Lord does he actually like physically talk to you like a person you know no <laughs> I mean, it's not like, you know, he's sitting here right here and it's a regular voice. I mean, he, he can talk to you in so many ways. You know, he can... Oh, it's hard to explain sometimes. <laughs> Obviously, he talks to me a lot through dreams. Um, you know, it can be through a song I'm, I'm hearing. Uh, you know, it could be through someone else. Um, there's so many ways, including a big one with me is a repeating thought. Something that I, that I would never think about, like, that always catches my attention. I'm like, okay, that's not something I would normally think of. And then I keep having the same thought just randomly show up. That's a sign that it could be the Lord, especially when it's something that you would uh, not normally think of or something that you did not know at all before, you know. Um, so... But yeah, you could look that up too. There's so many ways that the Lord, he's, he's unlimited. 
in his ways that he can communicate with you. It's amazing. But that should be one of our goals uh, in seeking him and even ask him, Lord, help me to hear more from you. Teach me to know when it's your thoughts in my head or if it's you know, my own or from the enemy or you know, not of you. When it's of you and when it's not of you. All right. Um, I think that does it with what I was going to say. I do keep dreaming of a number. I've dreamt of it twice now. So if anyone knows what this number is, you know, please leave a comment. Uh, 62814. I woke up listening to or hearing that number in a dream the other, like a couple weeks ago. Um, and I was like, I'm just trying to figure out what that was. And then was it this morning or yesterday morning? I literally woke up thinking about June 28th. I was like, I, and I'm definitely not putting it, you know, it might be personal to me. It might be for someone I know. Um, that's, I'm not saying it's a date, but this morning or, you know, when I woke up to it recently, it seemed like it was a date. So I don't know. Not sure on that one. But yeah, gr let's just set our hearts and our minds to just get as close to the Lord as possible. And if you haven't chosen the Lord as your Savior, please do so while he may still be found. There's a lot of things coming per the Bible. And per all these tidbits that he's given us, there's a lot coming. I, I would not put that off any longer. He died for you watching this video. You right here watching this video. He died specifically for you. And not too many people will do that. He loves us with his whole heart. He loves us so much that he literally died as a, as a sin sacrifice for us. So that we, believers of him, could live forever. Live forever. All right. Uh, it's getting long. I'm going to get going here. I love you. And God bless and keep you and yours. All right. Bye-bye.